Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And today I will show you guys 25 very useful iPhone controls that you probably never used on your iPhone. Now here we're talking about a new feature of iOS 13, which probably you have heard of is voice control, which allows you to basically control your device by only using your voice. And you have some very useful commands that you can use with your iPhone. Now the good thing about voice control in difference to Siri is that you can use those commands even when your device is offline. You know that with Siri, so you're on your car, you want to play music or something, you have to, have to be connected to your, to your cellular data in order for Siri to work. But with voice control, you can do all those commands, most of them, even without the device being connected to the internet. So here are 25 iPhone controls that you should use on your iOS 13 device. Now, first of all, to enable voice control, you will need to go to your settings, go to accessibility, and you will find voice control right here and you can enable it. And you will see that blue dot right there at the clock on the status bar. Now, when it's blue, it means that it is enabled. Now, of course, you can disable it using voice control. Just say, go to sleep, go to sleep, and you will see right there, it will turn gray. That means that the voice control is now disabled. You can, of course, enable it by saying, wake up, wake up, and just like that, it will wake up voice control and now it's ready for use. There are a lot of very useful commands that you can use with voice control and probably will use them even daily on your device. So let's say you're watching a video like this and you have the orientation lock on you don't have to go to your control center turn it off or even rotate your device just say rotate to landscape rotate to landscape rotate to portrait and just like that as you can see voice control will do all that for you will rotate to landscape and to portrait as well now, whenever you're on your device, you're doing something and you want to take a screenshot of that, you don't have to actually reach for the buttons to do that. All you got to do is just say, take screenshot. And just like that, voice control will do that for you. We'll take a screenshot of the screen of your device. Now, whenever you're doing something on your device and you want to undo that, you know, the old way was to shake the iPhone to get the pop up to undo something. Well, you can ask voice control to do that for you. Just say shake device. And just like that, you can go ahead and tap undo and you're good to go. You can also lock the screen of your device using voice control. All you gotta do is just say lock screen. And just like that, it will lock your device and you're basically on the lock screen. You can also mute your device without having to use the button on the side at all. Just say mute sound. And as you can see right there, it will mute the sound of your device. You can also say unmute sound unmute sound and as you can see it will also unmute your device so basically mute and unmute without having to use the mute switch on the side of your iphone you can of course use voice control to select like different text copy paste and do all that just say for example if you just want to select this word i can say select word and as you can see, it will select just that word. I can select a line, a paragraph, or the complete text. Select all. Select all. As you can see right there, it will completely select all this text. I can say also, cut that. Cut that. You can see it did cut the text. And if I want to paste it somewhere, just say, paste that paste that and as you can see it will also paste that text now here you can see i have this text i can select that just say select word uppercase uppercase that and as you can see it will completely turn the old text on uppercase letters now you can do that with any text you want if you even if you have like 
a long text, you can still do that. You can also say select word, underline that, and as you can see, it will underline that text at all. Very, very useful. Now, when you're on a picture, you can say zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, pan left, pan right, and as you can see right here, you can use it to zoom in, pan left, or pan right. Now, you can not only use this with pictures, but you can do that even with maps or any other stuff that you can zoom in. You can actually do that even on websites and stuff like that. That's very, very useful. Now, when you're on a website, you know that on iOS, there is a feature that allows you to tap on the status bar to go to the top quickly just like this but unfortunately you don't have a feature that allows you to do that and scroll down but with voice control you can do that so all you gotta say is just scroll to bottom and as you can see just like that it will immediately scroll to the bottom of this website you can of course go to the top as well just say scroll to top scroll to top and as you can see, it will also scroll to the top of the website. That's very, very useful, especially the scroll down. As sometimes you go down and you're like maybe on a longer website or something, you accidentally go to the top. You don't have to scroll down manually. You can do that using voice control. You can, of course, use it for other stuff like rebooting your device. It will make your life easier, you know, with the new iOS versions. It's kind of hard to reboot devices. Apple, Apple has complicated it a bit. And you can also go to settings and go to general and scroll down and go to re reboot. But you can do that with voice control very easily. Just say reboot device. And as you can see right here, you can enable like this confirmation here. If you want to com confirm you want to reboot or not before rebooting, of course, you want to do that. And it will reboot your device without having to go through all the struggle. Now, if you use the side button here for the accessibility shortcut, you know that you will have to triple press on it to basically show you the shortcut or the short the list of shortcuts that you have chosen. But you can do that with voice control as well. Just say triple press side button. Triple press side button. And as you can see right there, it will activate the accessibility shortcut from here without you having to triple press manually on the side button. Now, if you want to quickly search for something on the spotlight search, you can ask voice control to do that. Just say, search for iPad. And as you can see, just like that, it will quickly go to the spotlight search and will search for any phrase that you say. Now you can use voice control to basically tap on any part of the screen of your iPhone. Now if you're not sure how to do that, you can actually just say show names. In this case, you can see it will show me the names of all the items that are here on the control center. And then of course I can use the command say tap to tap any one of them. So tap lock rotation. And as you can see right there, you can use it to tap on any name that it shows on the screen. And of course, you can also use it to swipe up or down on a website or on any app that you want. Just say swipe down. Swipe down. Swipe down. Swipe up. Just like that, you can use it to do basically a swipe gesture, swipe up or down. Now, one of my favorite things that voice control can do that you cannot do with Siri is to actually start playing music, change the songs, play any artist you want and all that without having to be connected to the internet. So you're on your car and you don't have access to your internet, you cannot use Siri to start playing music, but you can do that with voice control. Just make sure you go to settings, go to accessibility, go to voice control, go to customize commands, go to accessibility here and make sure you have the music commands turned on here and then of course you can use voice control to start playing music so here we have the music just say play music play music and as you can see right there it will start playing music now you can ask for different artists so let's just say 
Play Artist DMX. And as you can see right there, it will start playing music from DMX. And you want to know what song is that? You can also say, what song is this? You can see at the top right there, it will show you the title of the song. Of course, you can use all the other like, basically the other commands like next track, previous track. So all these commands can be used, of course, to control the music as well as the turn up the volume, turn down the volume and all that, which of course will make it very, very easy for you to play music without having to use your iPhone and without having to use Siri as well. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 25 iPhone commands that are very, very useful and you can use with the new voice control feature of iOS 13, which in my opinion is a great feature, but it's very, very underrated. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.